Save us, Hawkeye Star Rail. Save us off the IPC here for my tax again. City of Dreams. Yo. All eyes are on the Pentagon Repishage. Yeah. Which is now in its fourth round. Beachkins! competitors are still vying for their shot of victory. No shot, Beachkins! Inferno's fiery demise. The family would like to reassure everyone that no contestants have come to harm. <laughs> That's still the case, right? <clears throat> Beachkin Kafka. With the crisis dispelled, only flowers, glory, and rapturous applause await. Beachkin Kafka. And not to mention a pool party. Pool party, Acheron. Miss Acheron. <laughs> Oiled up boot hill. We all agree to the swimsuit dress code. That's not a swimsuit. Hmm. Is that what we agreed? Dad, but you. That voice actor hates my ass. Me. Albert, <laughs> uh -uh. can I borrow you? <laughs> Madam Jade. Hey, what's up, baby? So, what brings you here? Get naked. <laughs> The corporation is planning to increase the special program budget. Why? Here. Because she likes uh, pandering to dumb fucks on Twitter. That's why. Literally no reason other than that. Thank you, Miss Jade. And yeah. Thank you, RPC. Hey, what's up, baby? Where do I sign? Pleasure doing business. I would fuck the <laughs> shit out that way. The adult version, though, not the chibi. Uh, Chibi's weird. Miss so, Firefly. Hey, hey. I'd fuck the shit out. Do the transformation thingy. You know what Turn I'm into a robot. Now. Turn into a robot. Now's the perfect time. Okay, it's just there's a lot of people around. Bro, she's no so cute. Problem. If anything goes wrong, just blame your good buddy Albert. Yep. Mm, in that case, check out the newest upgrade. I shall set the seas ablaze. That's so cool. To me, hiding is much easier. Do we get a new quest? Honest. Yet, I still want to try expressing my emotions as any ordinary person would. Forgotten someone, my gray-haired friend. She pressed the nuke bomb. You have ten minutes to find it. Better hurry. She pressed the fucking sparkle nuke. Get the ass, boy! Fly and fly, this! Falcon kick! <laughs> Always remember, don't leave with any regrets. It's too cool, man. Falcon kick! So now, smash. Do you understand what you must give up, Mr. My virgin. Huh? Even from here points, that distant as it may be. Yes, sir. I'm capable of keeping you on a tight leash. This is 100% a There's sex no appeal character. Now. Bro, her ult is so sick. For me, or for you. The snake bite is the dangerous. It isn't over yet. It's been a while, little Yelena. Topaz, this? A toast. Since you care so much. Shoot her. Speed up the countdown to the future of Pinnacle and the universe. Can I interpret oh, this? God, as please the next no. Phase of the simulated universe. Get him out, bro. Correction. It's a new subject matter. Spark. Uh, screw him. Get the fuck off my screen, bro. Bro, screw him. You're a four star. We all know it. Nobody gives a fuck about your ass, bro. And they stalling out these codes for real. And transition now. You're welcome. Woo! And whether or not your world has a day night cycle. Good morning, good afternoon, yeah. and good evening. Yeah. I'm Albert, your friendliest feathered announcer. Welcome to the version 2.3 Farewell Pentacony special program. If we don't get a beach skin, Today's I'm going to lose my mind. We have with us a Galaxy Ranger as well as a Stellaron Hunter. Not to mention a director of the IPC Strategic Investment Department. Bro, them three baddies on the bench is insane to me. <laughs> That's me. Thank you for the invite. Good it's God, her voice is like butter in my fucking ears. Special program. Holy shit. You can call me Acheron. So, what exactly is this newest upgrade you were all talking about? <laughs> I just showed everyone. 
Hi, Trailblazers. Firefly here. Yo. Welcome. <laughs> I like her voice better when she isn't having an asthma attack every time she talks. We agreed to a pool party. <laughs> well, I'm the only one that showed up in a swimsuit. Oh, no, man. <laughs> we thought you were joking. After all, this show never previously had pool party levels of funding. Don't worry, Albert. But Adam Jade's investment is on the way. But next time for but sure. But surely we're going to get a pool party skin, right? Anyway, I will be disappointed the pool party's guys. for nothing. We're coming to you live from the March seventh. March seventh uh, pool party skin. Other than the radiant felt spa airship. Quite a luxurious setting. What's the occasion? Oh, no occasion needed, Miss Acheron. I just wanted to give Hope has a oiled up skin. And a history. <laughs> Over to you, Madam Jade. <laughs> One amber era ago, Odiel Falfa, the Peniconial Falfa family head, what does that even mean? invested a large sum in constructing the radiant Feldspar airship. Uh -huh. Aside from the opulent parlor, ballroom, and recreation facilities, one could simply relax at the poolside. It's cute. With a few glasses of soul glad. She. <laughs> this grand airship has sailed above Peniconi's Sea of Dreams. Look at it go. For an entire amber era, suspending services only recently. Go I... In the wake of the crisis. The Trailblazers have yet to claim responsibility for this matter. In case you weren't aware, the Radiant Failed Spa never opens to the public. Only the family's most esteemed guests are invited to take in such breathtaking aerial views of Pinnacone. It's beautiful. You mean to say that after three whole versions, the Trailblazers might finally be able to take a vacation? It is a new Trailblaze Let's mission. Not get ahead of ourselves. The it is. Recent battle oh shit! The okay. Great disturbance at Pinnacone. Nice. Correct. The Charmony Festival was forced to terminate. Well, I'm gonna assume this is the last quest for a while. Damage to public opinion. The family's reputation must be built anew, and the public must be reassured. Yeah. There are many delicate issues which urgently need addressing. Aside from the Oak family, the major lineages are preparing their responses to help deal with the aftermath. In the version 2.3 Trailblaze mission, uh -huh. the express crew will be invited aboard the Radiant Feld Spar as witnesses to important family discussions. But if the factors that disrupted the dreamscape have been resolved, what other assistance is required? The <clears throat> fuck have I know, bro? The order has stepped all over the Harmony Surf. You can't deal with stuff like that out in the open. The family came up with an idea. Fix the Radiant Feldspar as the Charmony Festival's location while simultaneously announcing the reopening of the airship. A pity none of this rattled down. Airship. The Ting Yun's on the airship. The grand because when we battle, when she died, we sent off airships. She's on Beach Skin Ting Yun. I'll need to take care of a few things during my visit. Beach Skin Ting Yun. Huh? Is the IPC about to make a claim on yep. Penicone? Never say never with a gosh dang IPC. Oh, IPC needs to win Lord, and actually just take something. <laughs> Reading between like the, the lines, bastards they seems are. Seems like these discussions concern the future of Panacone. She's dead? Lady, no, she's not. What a quick refresh. Just like Senora's going back in Natlin, boys. Certain mass fool issuing mutually assured destruction buttons to the residents of Panacone. I remember. Sparkle sent out gifts in each one of the past three versions. Uh, those gifts were bombs. She... <laughs> what pushing the button? Just making sure we all th those were bombs, guys. Explode. I okay. have my doubts. Only one way to find out. Whoa, 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 whoa. everyone take a deep breath, okay? <laughs> you guys have been spending too much time with a certain blonde haired director. I'm not putting the bill if you blow up the radiant bell spa. <gasps> Let's leave these mysteries for the trailblazers to explore again. Huh? It's time we got back to the Charming Festival, baby. Who might the honor guest be? I hear you ask. Sparkle. <sighs> Just when they're about Sam. to get interesting, Tech Albert Tom. hands things over to the trailblazers again. Family business is family business. Me. And we've got a show to do. Even if the next young lady needs no introduction. Holy fuck, get on with it. Oh. Fire to fry you!
Captain Falcon Falcon Punch! God damn, bro! Holy shit! That's it! Is a member of the Stellar. Show me more, you bitch! A world that was destroyed long ago. What the fuck? The same Glamoth from the Firmament Frontline Glamoth Relic Set? I remember the planar ornament description had a story about Glamoth's Iron Cavalry Regiment. Yes! Glamoth was once a rich and powerful empire with a Bro, I love Firefly's pose so much. Invaded, it's so cool. I am a little bit sad we can't walk around a Sam in the overworld, though. Glamoth's so I'm hoping Falcon. her talent lets us do that, if not just for a little bit. Weapons. That existed only to wage but I love the transform into robot shit. It's so cool. Swarm. I met many of those heroes and bade farewell to many. Oh well. <laughs> What's oh well. Me is that Sam's full name is actually Firefly Type Four Strategic Assault Mech, uh -huh. meaning that out there, between the distant celestial bodies, there could be other Sams. Ooh, imagine that. Good thinking, Madam Jade. Perhaps the answer to that question lies in Firefly's myriad Celestia and Other Sam's. animated short. You think one of them's actually a dude <laughs> me wearing in. a female mech suit? I was wondering, is it really you talking when Sam says something, Firefly? Mm-hmm. I actually spend a lot of time practicing my Sam lines. Go ahead. Let me guess. Silverwolf came up with the lines, Blade came up with the movements, and Kafka put them together. Huh? That sounds a little too professional for us. <laughs> yeah, well, speaking of professional, I think it's time we took a look at what this young lady can do in her combat mech. Good, I I'm agree. a fire-type character, following the path of destruction. Yes, sir. When using my technique during exploration, I summon my Sam armor. Sam can <laughs> What the fuck? Sam Blast him. All enemies with Bro, a that's so cool. Quite the heroic entry. That is so cool. Oh my god, it looks insane. Weaknesses can be inflicted on units with That's wild. weakness, which lasts for a set number of turns. Nice. In battle, nice. Sam has two forms. In the initial form, using skill consumes HP while simultaneously regenerating ultimate energy. The lower the That's HP, nasty. the less damage sustained. I like that. I like that a lot. Are all Stellaron hunters this careless with their lives? God damn, bro. <laughs> when using ultimate, Sam enters the second battle form. The dazzling, complete, I love that animation. State. I think In it looks cool as fuck. To more powerful basic attacks and skills, speed is also increased. When using enhanced abilities, Sam's weakness oh break God. efficiency and weakness break damage sustained by enemies both increase. Sam restores HP with each attack. Oh so, my God! The complete combustion state it's allows so us to cool. a firefly's. Does that mean you don't need a healer? Probably not, right? You probably do need a healer. Ever saw one? Enough to set the. Because he's not gonna aggro shit, nature. I guess. That's so Bro, awesome. those animations are beautiful, oh, dude. The seas I love the little the little Cortana <laughs> appearing on the side. Complete combustion states enhance skill. Why the fuck does Sam have a ponytail? What the fuck is that? It can also inflict fire weakness on target enemies. The flames that Sam emits when breaking the enemy's weakness are quite spectacular. I wonder how OP she's gonna be. And is that a countdown icon on the action bar? That's right. When the countdown is up, Sam will exit the complete combustion state. It seems Fuck. like the effects of Firefly's abilities all relate to weakness break. I suppose it would make most sense for Firefly to team up with allies who have weakness break efficiency buffs, or even super break. Okay, meta whore. That's right. For example, the Harmony Trailblazer. Mm. Oh. Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> What a wonderful coincidence. How about we just play the, the game for fun, huh, Jade? The Trailblazer and Harry. You ever thought that maybe we just play for fucking fun? And thoughts? Embarked on the brand new Path of Harmony. <laughs> the spirit of trailblazing, traversing unprecedented distances to go where none have gone before. But that's what it's all about. Bringing the will of the Trailblaze to more and more people. And on that note, I've got some good news for y'all. 
After activating the Harmony Trailblazer following the version 2.3 update, Milady. Trailblazers can obtain a shadow of Harmony through the when Charmony rings out event screen, thereby upgrading the Trailblazer's Eidolon level. And if I haven't had Good. time to experience Penacony yet? I really oh, don't want to use Harmony MC, they're the so fucking lame. Trailblazers yet to complete the version 2.2 Trailblaze mission can activate the Path of Harmony early through the when Charmony rings out event screen. Oh. <laughs> I hope the will of the Trailblaze reaches everyone. Hey guys, you meant you you pressed the wrong well, button. You meant W tag. No, you used the no wrong button, guys. It's time we got to know a certain highly respected IPC director a little better. Uh, dude, if I had to see that Mickey Mouse Madam clocky Jane. fucking dance one more time, bro, I'm gonna lose my mind. Sex! I agree. Hey, my doctor ratio. Hey, hey, Ratio, it's been fun. It's been fun, man. Bro, if she was wearing a thong, that animation would go so much harder. Bite him. Jane Insane. is the director of the IPC Strategic Investment Department Here. and a member of the Ten Stone Arts. She is a Bro, that she live is 2D goes and insane with the snake and the apple. An opportunity for oh my to God. showcase her true skills. In contrast with Topaz's negotiation abilities and the Venturine's daredevil spirit, I'd prefer to operate behind the I volunteer to be your slave, Jen. Using emergency measures I volunteer. full harvest. These other motherfuckers are haters. Opportunity arises. It feels like making a deal with Jade is a risky proposition. Great. If you ever let your guard down even a little bit, you'll never escape her trap. Yeah, no you're shove that snake up your ass. I think the term you're looking for is... Femme fatale. <laughs> no. I, like I wasn't going to say that. Mm-hmm. And Jade also had Bro, Albert just came, bro. Did you hear that? <laughs> oh. <Exchange. laughs> what the fuck was that? Shop, essentially. Though it kind of sounds like a fine dining experience. With you on the menu. One swish of the contract and the customer is 8 billion credits out of pocket. <laughs> Watch your step, Trailblazers. Jade's goal always aligns with her own interests. She plays the long game. Whether your customer's yeah. appetite will extracting a suitable price. She Thoughts on Soulze tell us? We can talk about that after the stream. Of desire, then bounces where they're most valuable. Man, am I crazy or are they yapping like crazy this live stream? Why is everyone staring at me? Albert? Didn't you just sign an agreement with Jade over oh, the so he did. program budget? <sighs> he did. What? I, hold on a second. <laughs> oh. Uh, Good one. So, what exactly happens to people who sign agreements with Jade? Well, Albert fucking patience, died. Patience. Why don't we let the combat do the talking? Yeah. A quantum type character. They get eaten by a fucking snake. My basic attack. Erudition, guys. It has to be good. Enemy and adjacent targets. Okay. A blast damage dealing basic attack. That's cool. Exactly that. My skill, on the other hand, allows me to sign an agreement with a single ally, thereby granting them enhancement and speed boost buffs. When the signee attacks the enemy, they can deal yeah. additional damage. But. At the expense of consuming their own HP. Bro, her face is so speed. hot. <laughs> is that what people mean by bestowing poison in the guise of sweet dew? <laughs> now, of course, if I choose myself as the signee, the speed boost and HP consumption effects do not apply. When I or a signee launch an attack, it accumulates charges for me. When charges are full, a follow-up attack is launched. Bro. The IPC sure enjoys the attack. I bet you this bitch is crazy in pure fiction. Department has its and own only good there and nowhere else. My ultimate, on the other hand, and farming. allows me to meet Farming and pure fiction. I might get her just to make farming better. In addition to dealing damage to all enemies, my follow-up attack is enhanced. Get him. If there's a place that's closest to a dream, 
Then are the Holy shit. the place that's furthest from it? Like, an <laughs> abyss? <laughs> it looks it so cool. Looks like what the fuck? The I love the when snake fight, man. It's so sick. Enemies with I don't get why Jade is so hated. Blind fealty state, and will refrain from attacking me. After attacking an enemy inflicted with blind fealty, other enemies in the state will enter the battle, with all enemies sustaining damage. They they should have made this all the so enemies true. bend over and get on their hands and knees. Signing away control. She's hated. Oh, dude, people hate Jade's easy. ass. The hate for this character is insane. That's why I want to get her. Albert. He might be doing Jade and the IPC's bidding for a few decades more than anticipated. Wakey, wakey. I don't take kindly to procrastination during working hours. God, please hit me. <laughs> please spit in my fucking mouth. Are you feeling, Albert? You won't be retiring anytime soon. But then, neither will your program. Silver Linus! <laughs> Why do I still feel like I'm working for nothing? <sighs> I wouldn't trouble yourself with that question. Why don't we talk about the version 2.3 banner instead? Yeah! Ooh, great idea! Why the don't we? 2.3's first half will prevent. Troba is going to acquire... Dude, I'm always so happy whenever Shui Yi's on a banner. As well as the limited five-star character Ron May. Beat skin In Ron May! Distance. The drop rates for the limited five star light cone, whereabouts should dreams rest? I'm getting Firefly well and her light cone. Light cone pass up I'm mirror, getting both. I'm getting both. Boosted. Ah, Miss Firefly. She must yearn for the world beyond the cold confines of her surroundings. Yeah. Faint light. This banner's gonna sell like crazy. In the midst of a dark forest. Why am I more Meanwhile, excited for Jade than I am for Firefly all of a sudden? Second half I'm event. pulling Jade and her Trouble light cone too. The I'm gonna just get them both. Character Jade Fuck it. And our resident Knight of Beauty, Argenti. I just need also the gem Jade gods to give me money. Lineup. In addition, the drop rates for the limited five star light cone, yet hope is priceless, as well as the light cone, an instant before gaze will be. Trend of universal market on the uh, light so, cone pass is really good the too. The fiercest of executives has a gentle side. Argenti will be selling Who isn't zero moved by copies. The laughter of children. My heart isn't actually made of stone, you know. And finally, the brand new four star light cone after the Charmony Fall. Will also be joining the war. Can we get I Sunday as a character or what, bro? Right now. Uh, I think where is bro? So but no good anywhere, Trailblazers. After the break, we'll be talking 2.3 events. <laughs> Welcome back, dear viewers. Let's duck right in. Neurodivergent universe. Brand new events. First up. A significant it's called Twitter to the simulated universe. Yeah, so exciting! Did Mr. Scrulum and Dr. Ratio devise a new project? You guessed it. Led by Mr. Scrulum, Divergent Universe, the human comedy, is a brand new project path. Up until now, the aim of the simulated universe has been to research the stories the of the Twitter eons. Event. I'm assuming that the human so comedy good. has more of a human focus. Bingo! That's the main research thrust of this phase of the simulated universe. Looks like this project will be conducted on the Radiant Feldspar. Oh, that's sick. Bingo number two, let me tell you a little more about it. First up, a groundbreaking update to the Divergent Universe, the arithmetic mapping function. In the Divergent Universe, trouble oh, can switch between shit, characters. Oh, shit, bro. They Those animations look possess. clean as fuck. Huh. So they can create their own lineups? Precisely. Damn, bro, that looks when nasty. In the universe, Trailblazers will no longer be limited by character downloads. When character level is lower than the current equilibrium level cap, it will automatically increase to meet the cap. Meaning. Oh, it's awesome. If one of my characters is level one, but I use them in the Divergent universe, it increases to a set level? Damn. You got it. So handy! That's cool! But what if a character has the level but no suitable relics or light cones? <laughs> We're well, not! In that situation, temporary light cones and relics at the current equilibrium level cap will be automatically that's awesome. assigned. Yeah, that's I dope. like when things are automatic. 
Ain't it great? <laughs> now we mustn't overlook That's Dr. Very convenient. new brainwave. That's very, very, very convenient. The poison. A buff combination of two different paths. Before the start of every test, trailblazers have the opportunity to select a random equation. And for the equation to take effect, you'll need different amounts of path blessings. Okay. Once the required amount has been achieved, the equation will activate and the team can obtain the corresponding combat abilities. Equation has a max of three stars. I see. So, so the higher an equation's star level, the more blessings are needed to activate it? You nailed it. And to speed things How up, is this the different from Simuni? Have kindly marked the required path blessings for each equation in Trailblazer's possession. Knowing which blessings can activate an equation is easy as pie. That's so considerate. If you're ever struggling to choose, just follow the mark. Adapting your choices to suit your equation allows oh, you, you to don't have to walk. Okay. To your current All right. Team. Mm, it works both ways. Ain't this you just the system that Wuwa has? To better suit your current equation. I want to see trailblazers mixing and matching. So, if I accidentally <laughs> Wait, this is legit Wuwa's system? Blessing, Wait, what the if fuck? I to switch my current equation, Good. They can, can learn from each change? other. Of course. By visiting the workbench of creation, trailblazers can overwrite their existing equation and switch it out for another. Unwanted blessings can also be switched out for other blessings, or even enhanced. Huh? I like that. Has the Curio store added more purchasable items? Oh, am I hallucinating? Did Madame Herta really lower the prices? The Curio system oh has been God. updated. In addition to normal Curios, Trailblazers can also choose from weighted Curios. These curios are more suited to characters of specific paths or types and really elevate the combat experience. Keep your eyes peeled, Trailblazers. Separately, we should also take a look at the wealth and escapade domains of the Divergent Universe. Trailblazers can win different prizes in these domains by spending cosmic fragments. But beware, in the event of a program error, your cosmic fragments could be wasted or even land you with negative curios. Sometimes the same starting point can lead to very different outcomes. Luck this looks like so much an fun. Important component. It sure is. This looks wacky now, as fuck. Let me introduce an impressive optimization that left a big impression on your buddy Albert. When suffering defeat in the simulated universe, Trailblazers no longer need to force stop the game. Divergent Universe Combat now allows for restart challenge, and Trailblazers can select a new lineup. What I the will fuck? That function. After completing each Dude, test that's in the so nice. Universe, Trailblazers can acquire synchronicity points and inspiration, allowing them to activate the buff nodes and inspiration. Thank God, seconds. dude. Because it's so fucking universe, annoying when you go into a, a fight where you're like, easier. oh, fuck. Thanks this fight literally info, needs a specific character. It's just. Didn't you forget something important? What about the planar ornaments? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> the planar ornament extraction function has arrived. Every time Trailblazers clear the Divergent Universe, they can choose to save a record of that challenge and archive the data of the equation, blessings, and curios in question. So planar choose farming planar isn't ass anymore? Want, use the archive, inherit the data and buffs from the archive, challenge the boss enemy, and obtain immersion rewards. Thank God! Nice. You mean, you can skip ahead? You just need to defeat the boss to get quick access to the planar ornaments? Are we sure this isn't some cracked version of the simulated universe that Silver Dude, that's so nice. There? About fucking time, bro. Sh the last person to doubt the Genie Society lost 76 accounts. A brand new I never farmed universe. ornaments because it was so ass. Sounds Actually like so good. Amen to that. <laughs> now, in version 2.3, the Divergent Universe will be adding two new planar ornaments, Duran Dynasty of Running Wolves and Forge of the Kalpagni Lantern. Make sure to use the new planar Dude, Honkai Star Rail streamer's content is about to be so home. much shortened because they can't stall that shit out anymore. Extrapolation, the Divergent Dude, Fob's content is gone. Like, Fob's content is fucking gone. By completing this weekly challenge, 
Trailblazers can obtain a first-time completion reward, as well as additional synchronicity points. Not to mention, in order to celebrate the arrival of the Divergent Universe, Madam Herta has added the five-star erudition light cone Eternal Calculus to the store. Cool. Trailblazers who wish to redeem it better start reserving some Herta What the fuck's it do? It sounds what does it do? Like the level of freedom in the Divergent Universe is really high. Fast what does it do? To planar ornaments, full choice of characters. Those are some big gameplay improvements. What the fuck? Big improvements indeed. In the vastness of the universe, the eons are beyond it's mid? our reach. Oh. Humanity <laughs> must learn to rise from its falls oh. and strike its own path. Okay. When gazing up at the stars, it's important to keep your feet planted firmly on the ground. The stories in Divergent Universe, the Is Jade and Jingyu on one? Is it really good for them? Small, but that does not make them insignificant. Trailblazers, get exploring. I can't wait to experience those stories. It's a chance for us to find out more about ourselves. Bro, her voice is so cute, it's ridiculous. To the memories. <laughs> Any room for a non-human companion? <laughs> Aside from all of this, in Penacone's Dreamscape sales store, a deal has been struck with a member of the mysterious Creed Exequi. They wish to seek traces of the shapeless prince in the experiences of your deadly struggles. Unlock the brand the new permanent challenge mode, Apocalyptic Shadow in Dream. Is this the single target game mode experience for HSR? Dreamscapes. Creed Exequi. Is this the first appearance of this faction of the finality? Not necessarily. A new it's not single mode? target? Really? So what's different? In Apocalyptic Shadow, Trailblazers will challenge boss Wait, so this, this isn't that the hunt mode? encountered in their journey. Every phase What the fuck enemies, is it then? Which are split into four levels of challenge difficulty. The enemies in Apocalyptic Shadow are a little different to regular boss enemies. In preparation for the fight, Trailblazers can read the enemy's traits at the start of the battle. As with other permanent You think it's for break effect teams during instead? During the challenge, there are buff effects for trailblazers to choose from for every boss. Make sure you maximize the advantages of your lineup. Defeating enemies through team adjustments or by exploring different battle strategies makes for a richer combat I hate experience. that all so much, guys. I fucking can I can't a stand it, bro. Of three floors of three-star quick clearances. That's right. And after the first time clearance of Apocalyptic Shadows set difficulty, trouble hey, can spam L the all you like. That's what the doctor spam when you were born, as pussy. Well as 300 stellar jades and self modeling. You know that shit is ass. It's nice. We're just getting warmed up. Let's take a look at the permanent game mode rotating schedule. The first phase of the Apocalyptic Shadow Challenge shit is will launch goofy, on the day bro. of the version 2.3 update and last for six weeks. Every version will rotationally update according to it's the It's still OP? Sequence. Yeah, no shit. They don't mean it don't look Shadow, goofy as fuck. Your fiction, Forgotten Hall. Just as before. On every other Monday, the permanent challenge stage is replaced. Related I like that. system functions have also been optimized. I still when don't get what it is. I might just have to play it. I don't, I don't get what it is. Peace handbook. But more, ver more variety in endgame modes, great. Of their friends, trailblazers can also easily check the I'm more excited for the neurodivergent universe, though. On the permanent game mode preparation screen, trailblazers can use preset lineups to create their team and even customize with drag and drop. How thoughtful. Mm-hmm. Now let's talk rewards, shall we? By clearing a phase of Apocalyptic Shadow, Trailblazers can earn a maximum of 720 stellar jades. 720? Good. <laughs> you might want to take another look at our agreement, huh? Albert. <gasps> the maximum number of stellar jades awarded in each phase... 800?! Pure fiction and apocalyptic shadow permanent challenges is increasing from 720 to 800. Nice. And the budgetary increase will be funded through Galbert's salary. Ooh, I hate when that yeah. happens. Here, but why Albert getting the salary? Making a deal with Jade. 800 makes way more sense. Proposition. 
Is that what you get five poles and not four point well, five? Following this chain, makes sense. I like that shit. Trailblazers can now obtain very nice two thousand four hundred stellar jades. This They're update is fucking good as shit. What the fuck? Then why do I hear? It's actually people? insane. <laughs> I don't think Owlbird's seen the bright side. <laughs> Keep it together, Albert. Now. Mm. In the upcoming version, the origami birds also venture into the Radiant Felt Spa. Bring with them a little game. It's hoping Trailblazers can help to test it out. An arcade game? Huh? Let me give Silverwolf a call. Please These don't be Flappy Bird. Origami birds are very. It's gonna big. be Flappy Bird, guys. But it's gonna be Flappy Bird. Why do I Bird. have a sense of deja vu? <laughs> this arcade game. Flappy Bird. We just need to cause elimination within a specified number of steps in order what to What the fuck the is this? Combat power. What in Before the fucking the Candy Crush am I looking at? Which is calculated according to the difference in combat values. <laughs> what the fuck? He returns to zero. Get him. My bank account. Victory is sealed. I right, fuck this it. Game I get the jades. Could it really be the legendary? I never thought the day would come when I could play match three on a Pentaconian airship. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. In the Origami Bird Class event, Trailblazers can also do battle freely with friends from across the universe. Wait, what? Can I fight Silverwolf? There's the PvP? Are they old buddies or gaming acquaintances? All can connect and play. Get what it. the fuck <laughs> is this? <laughs> The next event is <laughs> called SR PvP Candy Crush. Does that name ring any bells for anyone? Stellar. Stellar Flare. Is this the sequel? You're a sharp one, Miss Zachary. What's Stellar Flare? Holy Stellar Shimmer brings well, this update is huge. Of brand new challenge mechanisms and trial character lineups. Catering your team to suit the mechanisms is the key to victory. These mechanisms. Care to divulge a little more? We're Falcon for kick. example, in certain stages, breaking an enemy's weakness can grant you an extra action. In other stages, characters enjoy unlimited revivals and can regenerate 50% of their energy. Does that mean Trailblazers can try doing away with survivability units and focus purely on damage output lineups? Mm-hmm. Defeat as many ways well, that as sounds fucking possible. ridiculous. Set number of cycles to complete the challenge and obtain rewards. Whew. That's it for events. Time to take another breather. Don't go anywhere. Holy shit. On version Bro, this update is fucking right nuts. The There's so much content, it's ridiculous. Welcome back, viewers. Try to have some. It's the return of a nail-biting and thrilling tradition. Gift, Gift of, of Odyssey. Odyssey. Free time ball, baby. The usual. Love that There's shit. There's also version 2.3's double events. Our good friends, Planar Fisher and Realm of the Strange. Yes, sir. Double planar ornaments and materials? What's not to love? Also Bro, just make Firefly a permanent trailblazer, rallies. man. Iron Cavalry against the Scourge. She's so and good at being positive and balance. not making it cringe. Bring her as the Astro Express, bro. Of corrosion. Path of Cavalier challenge to obtain them. Mm-hmm. And let's not forget the new Path of Erudition trace materials that'll be added to the brand new Calyxes, rough sketch, dynamic outlining, and exquisite colored draft. For trailblazers who wish to level up traces for me, these materials are indispensable. So many updates! Man, I can't wait for this version to drop. <sighs> and we're at the end of the version 2.3 special no! program. It's about time we bid farewell to this white night. Beachkin! Thanks again for everyone's support and viewership. Beachkin! I eagerly await the version 2.3 story. Beachkin! The Pentacony discussions make for smooth sailing. Please, Trailblazers, Beachkin. do support the work of the IPC. I'm looking forward to the brand new Divergent Universe, not to mention all those brilliant events. Don't forget to try them out. Um, Beach in that case, see you in the next stream, Trailblazers. Hold up. Hold up. I'll be waiting for you at the usual spot. Pause. Bye. 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 <laughs> Pause. Beachkin. Beachkin.
three, two, one, beat skin. What the heck is beat skin? This thing anyway. That's it. That's it. I made it. What am I? I got so to them. Pause. Virgin names. They're too afraid to read out for themselves. Uh, Pause. And not to mention the bugging. Pause. All these years. Someone showed up in a beach skin. For the RPC, and even the audience thinks I'm an intern. Pause. <laughs> and now, using my salary to fund the stellar change budget for the new events. Pause. The audacity! Beach skin! Three! Two! Three, two, one! Two. Get out of here! Beach skin! Oh! <laughs> Fuck! Tell that to Wait. Sunday! Wait! Now listen up! The three years are up! I quit! Beach skin, you know Robin. I got an offer from the CN Joe to host the war dance. Albert's about to become a big time sports anchor. <laughs> there you go. You can get that on your knees and beg for all I care. It won't make any difference. Good shit, Albert. What? We see you, man. Beach skin, beach skin march, beach skin topaz, beach skin robin, Ladies beach skin! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the most important event in the Zienjo calendar. Pause! The war dance. The opening session is right around the corner. Here, you will witness members from all Zienjo delegations fighting for supremacy in the luminary combat arts ceremony. Yep. First up. Put your hands together for the Cienjo Yao Ching delegation. Feet what is going on? Swift, his face shall the Merlin's claw. Who is that? And by his side, <laughs> he doesn't drink plain soup and has no time for coriander. I know him. It's a Gay Miko. Additional show, we got Gay Miko. Show. What the heck did I just read? Up next. He's cold and silent as a hunting shadow. Who the, the fuck is Moe's? weirdo, Moza! And following close behind him is the Xianzhou Juming delegation. Strong and righteous is Huayan, the Kung Fu Panda! And now... They put Poe in the game! While the iron is hot and forges um, the blade Guys, upright. if you thought that if silhouette was cool, you are a pedophile. Uh, guys, that is a child that has the exact same body as Fu Shuan and Sparkle hey, and Pela and Silver Wolf. Just make sure you know you are a pedophile. Let's hear it for the Xian Zhou Lao Fu. Big titties. Welcome. Big titties. Having suddenly returned home for the victory lap is the new Alchemy Commission Cauldron Master, Ling Sha. I bet she's hot as fuck. As well Ting Yun. As an exceptionally gifted and legendary new sword master who shall remain anonymous for the time being. No wonder they needed me for this gig. Ting Yun? What does it all mean? Oh, they're at Summer Games Fest too. Hey, I will be there. Hey, hey. My ass will be there as long as chat lets me take a nap. Which they will, I'm sure. We will be there. We will be there. Dude, that gets me stoked as fuck for the future, bro. Bro, all of this shit? For supremacy in the let's go over it again. Shut the fuck up, Albert. Feishuao, Feishuao, most likely a baddie. One of these is Ting Yun, and I'm pretty sure it's the swordsman. Uh, Zhao Kui, a.k.a. Gay Miko, I'm going to be pulling for, and I'm going to keep it 100%. I am pulling for him because he's meta. And that's how it goes. Moe's, I got no idea, but I bet they're going to be sick as fuck. Then we got Kung Fu Panda. Uh, this is probably going to be a massive fucking skip. I don't know how the fuck they make this outline look good. That shit looks lame as fuck. Yun Li, I don't give a fuck what anybody says. I think her design is awesome. Ling Sha is going to be a baddie. 
You can tell by that pose. She, bro, sleepy eyes and big fat fucking titties. You know it. Ting Yun. It's Ting Yun. Why else would it be anonymous? Why else would it be anonymous? Wait, is that March? She has the same tits and the same haircut as March. Could the awakened version of March be a swordsman? She has the same tits? What if she's a dual class and she uses a bow and a sword? And she can swap between it, dude. March is not part from the Luofu, though. That's what you think. That's what you think, bitch. Or it could be the MC in a new form. Nah, it's got to be March. Or is it Ting Yun? No, it's March. They have the same titties. I know those titties anywhere. <laughs> same waist, same titties, same hair. It's got to be March. 